Welcome back. My name's Sydney and I'm the coordinator of Humane Education here at the Ottawa Humane Society. All my friends, especially the furry and feathered ones, are super excited to see everyone back. We're going to have a great day filled with animal activities, some cute animal stories, and some more information about the great work that we do here at the OHS. And just a refresher, this is my dog Bo. He's a registered OHS program dog and he's going to be my co-host. Today we're going to talk about aquariums and marine parks and how you can decide what animal related activities you support. Before we get started, let's talk about the difference between aquariums and marine parks. Does anyone know what the differences are? Great guesses. Let's see how many you got right. An aquarium is a tank or man-made pond where living animals and plants are kept. Have you ever visited a public aquarium? A very popular aquarium in Ontario is called Ripley's Aquarium of Canada, and it's in Toronto. A marine park, or sometimes called a themed zoo, is a park that focuses only on sea animals. Normally, these parks have marine animal shows, sea mammal and land animal exhibits, and amusement rides. Marine parks usually have animals like dolphins, walruses, sea lions, an orca, and beluga whales. A very popular and well-known example would be Marine Land. Marine parks have thousands of visitors every year and make the owners lots and lots of money. But when you think of aquariums and marine parks, do you believe that these animals are experiencing the five freedoms of animal welfare? Five freedoms of animal welfare. Freedom from hunger and thirst. Freedom from discomfort. Freedom from pain, injury, and disease. Freedom to express normal behavior. Freedom from fear and distress. If you guess no, you're right. Animals in captivity at marine parks and aquariums do not have access to the five freedoms. Many of them are forced to perform, something that they don't do naturally. Day after day, animals perform for crowds of people without a break. Smart and social animals like dolphins and whales are kept in very small pools and in many cases they're all alone. This can lead to loneliness and not having a chance to swim normally. Marine animals can often become very sad when kept in captivity. Pay close attention to the dorsal fin. The fin is down because the whale is sad and not living normal life. Marine animals are captured in the wild and brought into parks and aquariums for owners to make money from people who pay to see them. Capturing marine mammals can also destroy families. Did you know that when orcas live in the wild, they live in groups which are called pods? These pods can travel an average of 120 kilometers per day. As you can see, they're not meant to live alone in a pool. I'm really happy to share that we are slowly making a positive change in Canada. Remember kids, this is the country we all live in. In June 2019, a law was passed ending the captivity of whales, dolphins, and porpoises in Canada. This means places like the Vancouver Aquarium and Marine Land in Ontario are no longer allowed to breed marine animals in their care and they will have to stop using captive whales, dolphins, and porpoises. This is really great for animals in captivity in Canada. What can you do to continue to help? Don't go to aquariums or marine parks and tell your friends and families what happens at them so that they won't want to go either. For today's activity, we're going to make a jellyfish sun catcher. All you'll need is some black construction paper, some clear paper, some tissue paper, some glue, some scissors, and some ribbon. For the first step, you'll want to cut an outline of the jellyfish in your construction paper, like this. Put it on the clear piece of paper, cut up your tissue paper into small little squares and glue them on the clear background. Once it's all glued down, you'll want to add your second piece of clear paper on top and cut around the outline of the jellyfish. Once you've finished gluing everything together, you can glue on the ribbon, like so, to make your jellyfish. Don't forget to share your creations with us on social media or via email. We can't wait to see your spectacular sun catchers. Last but not least, let's learn about our animal of the day. We're going to play a little game. Here are three fun facts about our animal of the day. Can you guess what it is? They do not have any bones. They have venomous stingers. They have flat bodies that allow them to dig in and hide from predators on the sandy ocean bottom. What am I? Stingray! 
Did you guess it right? Thank you so much for joining me today, friends. I've had so much fun with you. Remember, help keep all animals safe. Animals housed in aquariums and marine parks suffer, but we can make a difference by never visiting these places. Help be a voice for these animals and spread awareness. Together, we can create a humane and compassionate community for all.